How would your life change if you found out all your life you've been living in the wrong tribe? In other words, you found out you were a king, a queen, a champion. That's the topic we're going to cover here on Self Love Monday. How you doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now, I remember I wrote a paper in high school. It was called Regaining Your Championship. And that's kind of what this topic is going to be about today. I use boxing and I'm not, I don't watch boxing. I used to when I was younger, but now I stopped. And for my own personal reasons, I'm not into us watching us beat each other up. But uh, that's a whole nother topic. But anyway, but I'm using the analogy because it's very visual and it's easy for people to understand. But what I'm getting to is when we're all born, we are actually champions. There's a belt around our waist that says you are a champion. But through family, friends, workers, teachers, you guys know what I'm talking about. The media goes on and on. Somewhere along that line, most of us lost that identity. We got hit. We got abused. We got stripped of our identity. And we actually start to buy into the fact that we weren't champions. What happens is people have different levels of pain in which they can take. As you know, there are some people that if they're in the ring, they need an official there because they will actually fight to the death. You would actually have to kill them in the ring to actually get them to stop. But there are other people. You can swing. And the, and the force from the swing is so powerful <laughs> that they're going to they're gonna fall and be like, oh, no, I'm not getting ready to take that hit. Uh, kind of what I think a lot of people did against Mike Tyson. They, they, just to win, they were like, oh, no, I'm done. I, I, I'm not getting ready to fight this. So what I'm saying is people have different levels of pain in which they can take. But when they get to that level, what happens is they run into the corner of the ring and they cover up. And the whole objective at that point is to not get hit again. The world wants to label people. We, we love putting labels on people. And that's really the stuff that I want to get us out of is quitting tagging people. We start to call them losers, quitters. They're, they're in their comfort zone. I keep asking the question, how is a person comfortable who's standing in the corner with their hands over their face trying to protect themselves to keep from getting hit again? That's not someone comfortable. That's not somebody taking the easy route. That's somebody who's going to suffer for a, for a long time until they recognize who they actually are. And so that's really what, again, this particular talk is about. It's about the, the fact that you are a champion. You were born a champion. And my, my goal is to get you to look around your waist and recognize that you are a champion. There's nothing you can't do. Do not allow the world, because that's what they've done. They've tried to program you into believing what you can and cannot do. It's time to quit listening to them. And it's time for you to look at the person in the mirror and say, all things are possible and I'm here to make it happen. And then go out there and do it. Because the people that make things happen are the people who have been told the same things. They've been knocked down. They're the people that's in the fight that you'll have to end up killing. Now, I'm not saying that you have to get to those levels in order to accomplish your goals. But if that's what it takes, then let's do it. But what I want you to recognize is, is the fact that you are a champion. And the only reason that you're where you are, not because you're comfortable. Again, it's, it's, people don't get comfortable being uncomfortable. It's just everything in life we do for one or two reasons. Either to avoid pain or to gain pleasure. But sometimes you have two pains that will come up against each other just like you'll have two pleasures. But we do those things for one or two reasons. But when you have two pains next to each other, in other words, I can get out of the corner of the ring and fight, but I don't know what's going to happen when I step out there. 
I don't know who's standing. I might be Mike Tyson. So I may not want to step out there and take a chance on running into him. So I'm going to stay right here. And that's what people call a comfort zone. But that's not comfortable because you're still sitting in the corner in a defensive stance to keep yourself from getting hit. It's just that pain of standing there and cover up, you feel a little safer. And again, I guess that's what people want to call comfort zone, but you feel a little safer than going out there and getting hit in the street. You figure at least here, I can cover up, I can see what's coming at me, and I can try to defend myself. So my objective is to get, to get you to put your hands down, get your hands back into the fighting position, and let's go regain that championship because really that's the whole key. It doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter what other people say. Now, if what they're saying is designed to move you forward in your life, then take all that information in and run it and run with it. But if what they're saying is designed to tear you down and to make you feel bad about yourself and to make you feel that you're not worthy and that you're not enough and you're not all the other negativity that people want to put out there, those are the things you let slide, your, slide down your back. You're only listening to the stuff that's going to move you. Now, with that said, there are some people that that does move them. Believe it or not, there are some people that negativity, telling them that they can't, what they won't do, that they're not enough, that they're not worthy, actually inspires some people because they want to prove you wrong. But as that old saying says, know thyself. Most people, I don't fit, believe fit that category. Most people love praise, love to feel significant, love the hugs, love the encouragement. That's why if you're going to be a leader and a coach, to me, a leader and a coach understands it's not my job to say my way is the right way because it may not be. I have to be able to adjust depending on the situation. My objective is to, is to be there and see what do you need to get where you want to go and input what I, where I can, but the reality is, it's always going to be on you. Always has, always will. But what we have to work on is making you and getting you to the point where you believe in yourself and know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I can achieve anything that I choose to. And the easiest way to understand that is the fact that you're here. I've, I, the numbers, depending on where you look at, the numbers are so high, people tell you that we're one in, one in a million one in 10, 10 million, one in a trillion. Some people say it's unlimited infinity and I don't know, but we do know the chances of you actually being here. It's so incredible. There's no feat in this world that even compares. So understand you already won the biggest race possible. Now it's just get past the limiting beliefs that the world has implanted in your head. Um, I shared with someone uh, we're talking today and I told her about the fact that we as human beings are perfect. We came into this world being perfect. The challenge is not that you're not perfect. The challenge is you're in a world that's not perfect. You're in a world that is always changing. You're in a world that's always, not too long ago, a few years ago, it was illegal to sell weed. Now you can find it on every corner. How do you stay perfected in a system that is always changing? And the reason this is so key for you to understand is because if you believe it's you that's messed up, that will make you run back in the corner and cover up and become a victim. But if you take responsibility and know that I can achieve all things, then all of a sudden you ain't got to run to the corner. You just go, so it's just me? It's up to me? If I take responsibility for my life and where I am, I can achieve. That's my goal. That's the mission of this conversation is for you to understand there's nothing wrong with you. You've made some decisions because that's the difference between people's lives. Decisions. Other people have made different decisions than you. And because of that, some of them will turn around and speak badly of you. Ignore them. All you have to do is look at your life and say, do I like where I'm at? If I do, they keep doing the same things. But if I don't, it's time to make decisions, different decisions, so that I can get different results. You guys always hear me say, it's all about the stories. 
Look at the stories that you've written from the past. If they're helping you, stay with them. If not, it's time to rewrite them. The story I hope you take from this video is that you are a champion. Look down at your belt again. Recognize, boy, I'm a bad woman or I'm a bad man. And put the world on alert. The champion has returned. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Let's go out here and regain your championship. I'll talk to you either on next Monday, for those of you who just listened to Self Love Monday, for those of you on the relationship side, I'll look forward to talking to you on Thursday. I'll talk to you guys on Thursday. Take care. Bye-bye.